Hello, and welcome to the Book as iPad app. This is a course about interactive ebooks and their future for education. It's a topic I'm passionate about, and I think you'll enjoy the course. It's designed for educators, academics, librarians, authors, or publishers. And when we talk about interactive books, what I mean is a book that is published as an individual app for a mobile device like the iPad. What that means is that these titles can take advantage of the special features of these devices like geolocation, embedded video and audio, speech recognition, and multi-touch gestures, and a lot more as you'll see in the course. There are a lot of stories in the media right now about schools adopting iPads, everything from experimenting with one class to buying them for the whole school district. There's story after story in the press right now. It's a hot topic. I'm also glad to see that people are paying attention to uh, low-income areas and the problem of people who can't afford these devices, and I hope to see more activity in that area. So if you're like most people, you're probably suffering from app overload, right? There are, as of September 2012, there are more than 700,000 apps in Apple's App Store, and that number is just going to keep growing. So how do you find the quality apps? And what makes an excellent reading and learning experience, and not just glitz and hype? How can educators use these apps effectively? And maybe you're thinking of creating your own interactive book and would like to see examples of what others have done. So here's how the course will help. By the end, you'll be familiar with some of the best book apps that are currently available, and you'll have an understanding of what makes them the best. You'll also get specific information that'll help you become an expert reviewer of book apps, and we need more people to do that. You'll get ideas and inspiration for both using these books in educational activities, and also maybe creating your own interactive ebooks, which could be the topic of a future course. So it's appropriate for educators at all levels because we have materials for everything from elementary to high school to universities, including uh, students and professors, librarians from all types of libraries, and authors and publishers who are curious to get ideas for creating their own books or helping people publish interactive book apps. So the course includes more than 25 short video demos that I created about lots of innovative book apps, over 20 readings about innovation in this area, and they're not all from the same point of view, and it'll lead to some interesting discussions because not everyone agrees about this. There's a discussion forum where you can discuss these topics with your colleagues. I'll also provide some guidelines on how to write reviews of interactive book apps. And you'll have a resource guide with links to all the videos, readings, and some publishers to watch who are innovating in this area. We'll cover fiction, nonfiction, reference titles, children's books, graphic novels and comics, short form books, books made with iBooks author, and some textbooks. So when you sign up for the course, you'll get ongoing access to all these materials. You can use them at your own pace whenever you have the time. There's no deadlines and I will be updating the course in the future, so it'll be a good way for you to keep current in this area. The future of reading really is already here, and I'd like to show you a few examples of how these interactive books are enabling learning. They're not just all hype and glitz. In this app, London, A City Through Time, you can browse by location. There are beautiful embedded interactive timelines. In the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, you can search by voice, or you can hear how a word is pronounced. In LeafSnap, you can use the camera to do a visual search of different leaves and identify trees. In this Leonardo da Vinci Anatomy app, there are embedded translations right on top of the manuscripts. So here's Leonardo's original writing, and you can tap a button and switch it to English so that you can read it right within the context of his drawings. There are visuals that you can touch and spin around and slice open, like a lot of these anatomy apps that are for medical students, where you can drop pins and learn all the scientific names of the parts of the human body. There's also audio enabling learning, like in Peterson's Birds of North America, where you can learn all the bird calls of every book in this very large book of, of bird species. Bobo Explores Light is an interactive children's book with embedded activities that's won a lot of awards, and it's a really super cute app. I really love how it's designed, and I learned from it even as an adult. There's also an interesting combination of old and new, with the old style illustrations being used in the context of this sort of, you know, new fangled device of the iPad where you can shake it and watch the bottle fall down the screen. So it's, there's a lot of very nice aesthetic experiences within these apps. There's innovation happening in the world of graphic novels and comics as well, with something called guided view technology that lets you swipe into the individual panels in order and then zoom back out to see the whole page. 
And some apps are even pushing the boundaries farther, like this one from Cognito Comics that is doing a lot of innovation in layering, visual layering, and sound design. There are some textbook platforms that embed social interaction right within the textbook, like Inkling, where a professor can set up a discussion with the students in his class that happens right within the book. So after you look at all these demos and talk about it with your colleagues in the course, you might also be inspired to create your own interactive books or maybe set up workshops for your students to create interactive books. It's still a little bit hard you know, to become an app developer and do that, it can be expensive, but there are some tools coming out that make it easier and cheaper to do this on your own, such as iBooks Author or Book Creator for the iPad or BookType, which is an open source tool that lets you generate books for all platforms. And I won't cover in this course exactly how to make an interactive book, but you'll get inspired with ideas, and perhaps in the future I might teach a course on how to pick one of these tools. So my name is Nicole Hennig, and I'm head of the user experience group for the MIT Libraries. I've been at MIT since 1999, and for over 10 years I was the web manager for the libraries on campus. My current interests are about the user experience of e-reading and mobile devices and how they're enabling better learning. You can reach me anytime if you have questions at my email, nick at hennigweb.com, or follow me on Twitter at nick221, where I tweet about these topics frequently. So sign up right now. You can go to udemy.com slash book apps, and you'll have perpetual access to all the materials. And I really look forward to meeting you virtually in the course, and thank you for watching this preview.